Hey guys, before you get into this video, I will say it is a hour and 10 minute long video of information that you need to watch if you plan on building it. Uh, there's a couple things I say before the video and uh, just watch it all please if you plan on uh, plan on building it to uh, ensure that your build is successful and it works and functions properly. Um, also, I'd like to say Thank you so much for the 100 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate y'all subscribing and taking the time to watch my videos. Um, I love you all. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm super excited. And, uh, and if you do uh, end up building this thing, please, 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 in the comments, tell me that you built it. And uh, that, would, that would make uh, me pretty happy to hear that from you guys. So, uh, I guess, without further ado, here is the video. Hey guys, I think I perfected the machine. Or at least my version of it. It's probably uh, lots of things that could be bettered. But my version, um, and my ability, I think I have made it as good as I'm going to. At least, I'm not going to worry about any more on this one. I'll probably redesign and make a new one. Uh, with some different technologies in it, but um, as far as this version, I think this is as good as it's gonna be for meow. So let's uh, let's look in to uh, see all the features and things I've changed into it before we get into the tutorial. One thing I did was I turned and rotated some things like these uh, item elevators to make it a little bit more um, compact, but you're welcome uh, to turn these any which way you want. Uh, to better suit and fit into the area that you would like to design it in. So, um, yeah, that, that, that could be done um, if, you know, that's something that you need to do. I redesigned the clock um, and redesigned the, well, this is a clock and this is also a clock, but this is the main clock that runs the system. And I redesigned it, um, uh, went with the same... Il Mango's clock, but then I redesigned the uh, T flip flop and all that other stuff to be a little bit more reliable and a little better. And um, I added a few things over here to make it more reliable. Um, I also added a uh, switch. So if you have this on and say you accidentally drop an item, it won't pick up, the hopper won't pick it up there, you know, and starting the machine, because as soon as an item goes in here, uh, that's what starts the machine. I also uh, added a light up there, and it says uh, light on, ready mode, light off, searching. So if that light's off, that means the machine's on and it's going. This one just means that there's shulker boxes up in the queue. Uh, there, This is whenever they're... Um, it's in search mode, and the, if the items kept going down, it would uh, just keep cycling. I also added a few little things, um, a crafting bench right there, and then another shulker box there for storage. If you're going to, like, say there's, like, one or two items in a box, um, you can take those two items out, um, like two stacks of, like, dirt, and or a stack of dirt in a box, and a stack of another dirt in a box, and you just kind of see it, but you know there's a few more in your queue, and you can add them to another box of stuff. Uh, that's something that you could do. Um, this is your hard drive basically for all your items and then I went ahead and filled this up with stuff. To have every item in the game you would need two rows but I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, I really don't um, I really don't see the see the point of that because of the amount of space that you have in here. You don't have really have enough for every item in the game. So this is this is doable. This is more of a small, uh, small version of it. This isn't for like every item in the game. I also figured out a really cool thing: um, non-stackable items, like beds, you can stick. Let's see, like a um, shulker box, and then you can get some some beds, and you can fill the whole thing up with beds of any kind of bed, multiple beds, whatever you want to do. And then you can name a piece of paper uh, bed. And then you can have that in your search box. So you have beds or bed. 
and uh, that will get sucked out for the, the search item, and this will be the actual um, item that you're trying to find. So that's a way to tag the box itself, which is, uh, I think, a pretty, pretty smart thing to do, because then you could do it with swords and armor and all kinds of stuff. You could have multiple non-stackable items in the system, which is not a system that you could do with other... Um, other systems, you couldn't sort other items. You couldn't sort non-stackable items in other systems is what I was trying to say, sorry. Now, if you're looking for a super fast system, this is not for you. It takes about two minutes for this to cycle through, and that's a long two minutes. Um, of course, you could make these, you know, three chests, and it would be a minute instead of, a, instead of a two minutes, but then you'd have, you know, the, the uh, not as much storage space and whatnot. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I like it how it is. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's check out and see how much uh, material it takes to make this thing. So right here, this box contains everything you're going to need for this, this build. You're going to need six stacks, almost six stacks, really, of, an, of a type of block to build it with, to put the redstone on and whatnot. You're gonna need two redstone blocks, one button, 41 regular chest, three dispensers, 57 droppers, uh, a stack and 23 of hoppers, one lever or lever, whichever you prefer to call it, 12 sticky pistons, one piston, two stacks of redstone, two lamps, 32 comparators, uh, 51 repeaters, a stack and 26 of redstone torches, nine observers, 10 stone slabs or slabs of any kind, it does not matter, um, and some additional things, maybe some signs and some furnaces. The signs and the furnaces are extra. You don't need them for the build to work. All right, guys, let's uh, set down a block, and this is going to be the block that uh, we're, we're gonna start with this area right here. So instead of starting somewhere random, I wanna start somewhere where you have an idea of what is going on. Uh, so if you know where you wanna put the thing, this is the platform you will be standing on. So you need a three by five platform right here. And then in the center of that platform, you're gonna come out one block, and this is a temporary block, and you're gonna place uh, six chests up like this, one, two, three, that's six, and you're gonna have double chests right here, just like so, and then you need a block in between, and a block on this side, all right, and then on this side, we're gonna have six chests just like so, but you're gonna alternate them like this. So the first one is gonna be facing out, away from you, and then the second one's gonna be uh, crossways, okay? Now we're gonna take hoppers, and from each side, underneath every one of these bad boys, we're gonna put hoppers, just like that. And then underneath this side, you're gonna put a chest, a hopper going into that, and the hopper coming straight down, just like that. On the back side of the center chest, well, it's not really center, it's the left side chest, you're going to, this is the index chest, you'll hear me say that quite a bit, index and storage chest. So on the back of your index chest, we're gonna go just regular hoppers all the way back. So from your pattern, your three by five pattern, you're gonna come off one, two, three, four, five, and then six right here. So let's do that again. From this three by five pattern, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on that six block on the back of it, you're gonna place a sticky piston. And then you can destroy that block, it doesn't matter, that, don't, that is not needed. And then, then you're gonna place a redstone block, and then another sticky piston. And then I like to put a, a crafting bench right here. 
and let's do that. And then I also like to put a um, white shulker box because this is all iron, but you can choose whatever color you want. And then um, I'm probably going to change that out to a, a furnace later, but for now I'm just going to uh, use a block. All right, now this is the tricky spot. You need to get a observer facing down. So you do that right there. And then you need a, a comparator on top of that. And then you need a block on top of the piston. And then your dispenser on the back of that block. And then you need a observer on top and one facing that one. So this one is observes this comparator and this observer observes this observer. <laughs> so out of this dispenser, you're gonna go one, two, three. And then on top of the, the, the last hopper, you're gonna place a regular, doesn't matter if you use trap chest or regular chest, but I like to use regular chest because they don't interact with the uh, regular, the other area. It doesn't send a signal out and stuff. So after you place your chest there, you're going to come out of this bottom two blocks down and you're gonna place a redstone torch right there. Oh, falling. And then you're gonna make a pattern like this. So you're gonna make a pattern like this. So from the center point, the center hopper, you're gonna come down to, place a block, put a redstone torch, and then you're gonna make this pattern. Sticky piston right here. And then you're going to put a uh, repeater, repeater. And these are all gonna be on full delay. And you're gonna put a repeater right here on full delay, and that needs a block right there. And then you place a piece of redstone dust right there, and a comparator right there. What this does is it stops shulker boxes from piling up in here. And because uh, if a bunch of them pile up in there, then it breaks this, this little contraption. Now from your platform, you're going to come off over here to the storage area where your little shulker boxes are gonna be and you're gonna place a dispenser facing straight down. And then from the back side, from the piston's gonna be facing away from you. If you're on the platform, you're going to place a regular piston right here okay and then you're going to place a dropper hold on we're going to place a couple blocks and we're going to have a droppers like that all right now you're going to bust out that block and you're going to have a block right here block right there block right there. Oh, something like that. Mm -hmm. Strange pattern, I know. Then you're gonna place you a repeater right there, set on default ticks. A comparator coming out of that. And then you're gonna have two pieces of redstone dust and a torch right there, redstone torch right there. Okay, now we're going to go down yet again, just like that. And then we're gonna come and do that kind of process. And one more. So you're gonna have something looking like that. And then you're gonna place a repeater there and a repeater there. This one's gonna be on two, and this one's gonna be on 
three, doesn't really matter. You just need five ticks of delay. And then you need to put that one right there and that can be on two. Then you're gonna put a torch right there and a torch right there. Now we're going to place a piece of redstone dust there, piece of redstone dust there, block on top of that one and a block on top of that one that cuts the signal off. Then you can place blocks just like that. And let's see here. We can do something like this. There we go. So you're gonna have something that looks like this. From this side, you're gonna have a little pattern right here. I'm gonna pause it, let, let you pause it and, and get this all caught up. And then from the side, from the left side of it, there, there's your build. You're gonna have from the second piece of redstone, your little V shape right here. And then you can put a repeater right there. And you can go into a block. And then we'll come back to this in a little bit, okay? Okay, from the back side of this piston, you're gonna place an observer just like that. And then an observer facing down. There you go. You want it to be observing the uh, top side. You're gonna place a, a repeater right there on top of the observer, and then right behind it, you're gonna place in a, a comparator. It's gonna com be comparing this dispenser, the stuff in it. And then you're gonna go right up here, and you're gonna place an observer observing this redstone repeater. And, oh gosh, I'm sorry. And then an observer two observers observing this one, and that's what gives this dispenser its, its uh, power, see, watch. Yep, just like that, that's what should happen. Should place it and then break it. All right, now from right here, you're going to come out with a, a hopper facing into this block, facing opposite way from this, this uh, hopper. And then on the back side of this one, you're gonna have to face a dispenser facing down. And then you're gonna place a hopper facing inside to this dispenser, okay? And then you probably want to get a block to place on. So let's, let's do that again, I did it a little fast. You're gonna place a block here, place a block again, and then one more. And this bottom one, you're gonna break out those two, and this bottom one is what you're placing a, a dropper on, facing up, okay? All right, now, from right here, you're going to place a hopper inside of the, uh, facing that dropper, another one facing that dropper, and now we wanna do a little test. We want to put a stack of items in this top one and see when it stops, should stop at 22. Really don't need a whole stack. So right here, just really need 23 items. And let's make sure no items get stuck. So really you just need 23 items you throw in here real quick and you wanna make sure it reaches down there. Okay, it's good. And you can take out the top ones again, and we don't need those anymore. And this one right here, I just place a furnace here because it just keeps this hopper from constantly checking, you know? Um, and we can do that on, on a, f a few other hoppers too, but we'll get to that in a little bit later. This one is gonna be hard to get to, so we might as well just do that right now. So on the back side of this, you wanna place a piston facing you. So that's why I put those three blocks back so I'll have something to place up against. And you wanna put a regular piston, all right. Now, this is the area where we're going to make this break. So we wanna place a block right here, 
and then you're going to place a block here. So you're going to have a T pattern and you're going to have a little, little pattern like that. And so almost an H. You're going to make an H pattern basically and then knock out that left one. And then underneath here, you need another spot. That way you can do a little something like this. You want to place a repeater beyond three ticks. And then you want to place a comparator right there. Then you can place a piece of redstone and a block on top of the comparator. And then you want to place a, uh, another repeater on three ticks and then some dust down there as well. Sorry, I was switching back and forth with different materials. I'm not very good at this tutorial thing. I know, I'm sorry, I'm trying. Then you're gonna take a sticky piston and you're gonna place it right there and um, place a block on top of the sticky piston. And then you're gonna place your three blocks along here. This third block should land right on top of this uh, um, piston. Then you can take a piece of redstone dust and put it on top of the block on top of the piston and then two blocks coming out and away from uh, this, this uh, piston. And you want to set these on four ticks. All right, now let's check this. Let's put, put a block inside this um, dropper. And then we want to get a, a uh, shulker box, place it in there. And I do not think that worked. It did not. So I guess this is uh, locational. And uh, so what you have to do is you have to place a item in here, in your, in your dropper. And then you're gonna have to put a shulker box up there. And I put a, a, a hopper here just so it catches it. And you wanna make sure that it is throwing an item in there. So let's do one that's empty. We're putting a hopper in there and we're gonna use the pink one. The pink one is empty and then got a hopper in there. So over there, I have these on this one on three and this one on three, and it works just fine. But obviously in your world, it might not work that way. So just play around with um, leaving this on three and try this on two. If it don't work on two, try it on three. If it don't work, message me and I'll be happy to come to your world and check it out. All right, now we're gonna come out eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna take all these out and we're gonna place in a hopper string all the way back to this area. And then we can take out this block and get our droppers. Now we're gonna go up 10 droppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And it should line up with this chest right here that we already put in. Now this is the item elevator I chose to use. I did not design it, but I will put a link in the description to the video that I found it in. Uh, it's not a tutorial video, but it is a very educational video that helped me do a many, many, many sort of things. Not only for the system, for other things, and uh, really helped me out. Uh, it's another storage system by another very extremely smart guy. I, have, I can't remember his name, but he is on this, I believe he's on the same server as Il Mango. So now we're gonna make this little plus sign pattern and we're going to come up, whoops, this side like that. We're gonna come up two blocks like that. And then if you just do this all the way up to the very top, I think we gotta go one up above it. Yeah, I think so. And then from this space, you're gonna come over here. So you're gonna have a little place like this and you're gonna go up to a zigzag pattern. You're gonna knock out, yep, one more. And you want it to have um, a torch on this side. Actually, no, you don't need one more. That's it, right there, done, done deal. Excellent. So we're gonna put a torch right here right here and on the back. And you're just gonna do an alternating pattern of this. So you're gonna have to have a torch on the face of all those blocks right there. And on the back, you're just gonna have one uh, kind of like that. I don't know how to explain that, but you see it. Hopefully that works for you. 
And then we're gonna put a comparator facing away. So it reads this dropper. Then you're gonna have a comparator facing this way and droppers facing into each other. And if you're wondering how you're, how I'm uh, placing these hoppers on each other like this, uh, shift click, shift click. And if you're in creative mode, you have to hold shift and space bar down at the same time. Then you're gonna put one item in this, uh, in these uh, hoppers. And that should be done for uh, this uh, item elevator. And we're gonna do this uh, two more times, an item elevator just like that, two more times. All right, now from here, we're gonna place a, regu a regular chest right there on that block. That's the block that is uh, right above this chest, or the, the chest is catty corner to this uh, piston that we placed down right here. And then I'm gonna place another, uh, I make it a full double chest, and then a hopper right into that chest, okay? Now we're going to place another hopper just like that. And then we're gonna break that block. And now we're gonna place 19 droppers here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 facing this way. Okay, now let's uh, go ahead and wire this bad boy up. It's the same thing as the other one before. So I'm kind of going to go through this kind of fast. We're going to make a, a plus sign just like we did before. And a comparator facing that way, comparator facing this way. A torch right there, torch right there, torch right here. Let's go around over here and make sure we put that torch there. We sure did, okay? Sometimes I forget that one. And then we're going to go up like this all the way to the very top. And we're gonna start back at the bottom and knock out a zigzag pattern and place torches in there like a so. Okay, I'm gonna check and see if this bad boy works. Oh, it's not gonna work. Duh. <laughs> Gotta put the, uh, the hoppers on the back and then you place an item in there and then, boop, item pops out, nice. Now we're gonna make the locking mechanism for this hopper for when the item that we want to go in here, the dropper or the, the shulker box that we want to go into here. This has the lock. So we're gonna build a little contraption for that. So right here, right over here, where we place this, place this repeater, coming from these two dust right here, we're gonna place a little plus sign. Oh my goodness, don't look at that. Place a little plus sign like that and knock out that center block. We're gonna put in a comparator right there and this is gonna extend the pulse out. Now from that, uh, that furnace right there that we placed down, we're gonna come out, I think we just need to come out, yeah, two blocks like that. And we're gonna place dust 
all on the top of these. And that's going to send whenever this, this is going to have 22 items in it. And whenever it has a 23rd item in it, it's going to make this redstone dust light up. And it's going to send the signal this way. And it's just going to be a very quick pulse. But we need it to be lengthened. So this is going to lengthen the pulse just long enough for this, uh, for the shulker box to break and then come over here and come down. All right, guys, we're about to make a checkered pattern like crazy. So you're going to go two blocks above this hopper that you place into this uh, chest, the sixth, sixth chest. And then you're going to place blocks all the way down and one block below the last hopper. Okay, and then you're just going to make a pyramid, or not a pyramid, but a, um, a triangle, basically. And we're going to make a checkered pattern from that triangle. It's just easier to place all the blocks and then knock them out as you go, because then you know if you got it right or not, because it's going to make a checkered pattern for show. So right here, this top one, and this one's going to go away. And then from there, you're just going to go every other one like that. So every other one all the way through this. Just like that. Oh, one more right here. And that's good. Now you're going to place repeaters. And you're going to place dust on the top of these, on top of this. And then this gets a repeater. And then every single one of these get a repeater. You can do it this way or you could do it another way. I don't know. I'm not very good at this, as you can see. This is just how I would do it in creative mode. Missed one. Uh, all right. So now we got all those in. Now let's build the timing system for this as well. All right. Before I forget, let's change these to the fourth setting. Okay, these bottom ones, they need to be on four. And then we're gonna come over here, place a torch there. And then we're gonna build a little pattern like this. Just like that. So it's gonna be basically six long and two wide. And then these two are going to have dust. And then we need uh, six of these uh, comparators. And then it's very important that these are facing into this torch. All right. And you're going to place your dust like that. And then you should have a fading pulse now. So it should, the stop one should come on, or come on, and then it should just go off, that one off, and that one off, that one off, all the way down. Yep. Okay, now you need to get a dropper, and you need to come to the left side if you're facing this way. You need to come to the left side, and you need to come down three blocks like catty corner. And on this block right here, you're going to place a dropper facing into a hopper and the hopper is going to be facing into the dropper and you're going to place them in like that you're going to place an item in it doesn't matter what the item is and then you're going to make a little pattern like so now you're going to place a redstone torch there and if you have this hopper here you're going to take it out because that's in the wrong spot uh, yep, and then you're going to place a repeater set on two ticks and a comparator set on regular old, not on subtract mode, regular mode. Doesn't matter, actually, I don't think. And then you should have this pulse off every so often. So now we're going to go up one hopper over three or over two. So up one over two, up one. And then you're going to come all the way past until one past this uh, dropper line right here. Now we're going to place in a hopper here, right at catty corner to this uh, torch. And then we're going to place a chest in, dropper, chest, 
dropper, chest, dropper, chest, dropper, chest, dropper, chest, dropper, dropper. So that dropper is going to go into this one, into this chest, and so forth, all the way down the line. Pretty cute. Now we're going to go to the very bottom, and we're going to place a block, uh, a hopper facing straight down, coming off of the item sorting area, straight off this chain, straight down. It'll be even with this torch right here. Um, and then you're going to basically what we need to do is, yep, just like that. Okay. So you're going to go over two and then back one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then you're going to take these blocks out right here and place in hoppers just like that. All right. You can take that one out, and if you you know you did it right, if this hopper or this uh, uh, droppers are lined up right, even with this dropper line right here, and so we're gonna go all the way up until we hit this chain of hoppers, just like so. Now we're gonna build the same thing down here to to uh, this dropper line. So we can uh, have an item elevator. We're going to do this all the way up to the top, just like we did before. All right, guys, now you're going to have, after you get that done, you're going to notice that it's it's catty corner to each other, but that's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. They don't interfere with each other. It's all good. Don't worry. Now, 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 brown cow. Now we're going to build the clock system. So from this platform, we're going to have our first dropper that goes into this single chest that is underneath our storage system, okay? We're gonna have a torch just like this. This locks this dropper so the items just don't keep cycling through. This is what's gonna, uh, uh, this is what's going to keep the flow uh, at a reasonable rate that this doesn't get clogged up with, okay? So now, we're gonna make a little two by two pattern and then one block up just like so. And then we want a, another two by two pattern, okay? And we're going to build a little clock just like this, okay? All right, guys, we're almost done here. We're gonna place a torch. Okay, here is the um, the storage silos, okay? Now we're going to come to the back and this one single chest that we placed in here with that uh, dropper facing into it, we're going to have this torch powering this dropper so see, nothing can go through it. And we're going to make a clock on the back side of that. So we want to build a yep, little structure like so. Okay. Two by two and a two by two with one popping up in the middle. And then you're going to place in some repeaters like so. Okay. Piece of dust right there. Piece of dust just like that and comparator and then this is going to start her up right here okay now we want to put this one on four 
this one on four. Now you're gonna see that this and turns on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. <laughs> All right, right next to this torch right here, we want another torch going into this hopper. All right. So now we want to come down here and connect that up. So you're going to build a little plus sign again. And yes, we're building another pulse extender. Okay. We're going to place dust on top of that. All right. And then we're going to place blocks in there like that. And then we're going to do that. Okay, now, right here, we're gonna place a little plus sign, okay? And then we're gonna place dust on top of that. And a comparator, doesn't matter which way it's facing, just needs to be in there. And this is just gonna be a, a pulse extender. So then you're gonna place some blocks in there like that. A little pattern like that. And pattern Okay, from this back, or from, from, from your platform, you're going to come to the back, and this from this chest right here, you're going to place a torch facing into this hopper on a block, okay? And then from that block, we're gonna have a little two by two, whoops, and then another two by two they block in the middle like that. So you're gonna have something looking like that. Hopefully that is clear as a whistle to you. Dang it. Okay, from the platform, we're going to come to the back and there's gonna be this single chest and a hopper going into that single chest. From uh, that same level, you want a torch facing into the, the dropper, or the, the, the hopper, my bad. And you wanna make a pattern like so. Yes, this pattern, two by two, two by two with a hangover of one and a little pop-up of one right there. So then we want to put a comparator facing in to this block, a repeater set on four, another repeater facing this way, the repeater coming out of this block we want on four, and then we want a block, uh, repeater on uh, default, piece of redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust. 
And then we're going to put the torch right there. Okay, and then that should make a nice looking clock. So from right there, we're gonna place uh, a little plus sign. So that torch should be going into that block. And you can place dust on top of that. A, a co comparator right there. And then you're gonna have two pieces of uh, blocks right there. And then you're gonna go up like that. And then you can place a torch right there, a torch right there, a piece of uh, uh, a compare, what is that? A repeater, wow. And it can be on uh, one, it just doesn't need to be on two or anything. Okay, now one block down from this repeater, we're gonna have a block and we're gonna build a little, uh, a little, um, this is Il Mango's clock, dropper clock. So we're gonna have a block there, or a comparator there, comparator there, dust, and then dust, and then uh, torches like that, with a block on top of that. And then I like to put blocks in there like this, just makes it easier to place the Droppers Don't need those blocks anymore and then underneath We're going to place some comparators just like that into this Shape like so all right And then you need need something like that and then you can place torches underneath there Torches on top of there. We need droppers facing into each other. And comparators coming off from that. Pretty sweet, pretty nice. Okay. Now, from coming out from this torch right here, we're gonna have a piston, sticky piston. And then another block. And then we gotta do this, this right here. So you're gonna have a dropper facing this way, dropper facing down, dropper facing back up this way, and then a dropper facing up. Okay? And you're gonna place a block on top of that uh, sticky piston, a a repeater right there and then a piece of dust right there and a dust on top and a block right there a block on top with a comparator sticking out of there and then we want to place a item in this top right one if you're facing it this way so that this uh, comparator reads and stops this uh, clock from moving so, over here, underneath your crafting bench, if that's what you put, if you didn't put the crafting bench there, underneath the block that you put there, we need a hopper. From right here, we're gonna go down four, so one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna probably need to break this fourth one. That, that won't work. Uh, you're gonna come up just like so. And then you need to come over three and then across that until they hook up just like that, I believe. Yes, three, what is that? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. And then three and then four, yep. Just like that. It needs to go into this chest right here. This is the return line. Okay, from right here, you need to bust out your block for your uh, index. And we need to come around here from this side. Very important, it's from this side. You're gonna come up from right there. I just checked to make sure, and you can, You are. we are hugging that right there. 
and then right there just like so and then we're gonna come up up top here place a block in there and it should look something like that let's go over here and make sure because we don't want to mess up we don't want to mess up so it don't matter there is nothing over here that matters uh, for that like you can go straight or you can do what I did over here just for simplicity and no nothing different changing or anything like that we're gonna go ahead and do exactly what we did over there so that's what we got from right there okay guys now from where we were just at we're going to come over here to this hopper line and then we're going to place in some blocks like that and this is so nothing falls out whenever it like n never does but I get a little leery, leery about it anyway so well, I'm gonna put blocks here we need these here regardless so I would suggest putting those there anyway so we're gonna place a comparator right there a uh, regular um, compare or a repeater right there and then we're gonna come up something like uh, so you're gonna have a little Z pattern so a two and then two and then you're gonna step down and then go up a caddy corner of three and then come over one up one block like that I hope that made sense <clears throat> back here we're gonna place a redstone dust and then that's going to have a torch. Then you're going to have redstone dust right there. In to a repeater set on two ticks. And you're going to have a torch. And that should be off. That torch should be off if you did everything right. And what that does is whenever the, you send an item down there, it sends a signal out to here. Temporarily turns that off, sends a signal, turns off the um, this uh, T flip flop, and starts the machine. Okay, now from this one drop, uh, one block that drops down a little bit, you're gonna come off of that, and you're gonna place a redstone dust, a torch, and then you're gonna come down two blocks, and you're gonna make a plus pattern like that again. So you want a whole block below that and you're gonna place dust on top of that and a comparator. And then we're gonna take a sticky piston. We're gonna face it towards the machine and then put a observer like that with the uh, output on the back side here. And then you're gonna paste a, another sticky piston with a redstone block on it. And then we're gonna come, even with these hoppers, you're gonna come three blocks over. So one block away from this uh, redstone block. And then you're gonna have a little, little doohickey like this. So three, up to and then a little hang off of one we'll get to this in a minute and then you're gonna place a redstone torch underneath that on this block right here and a redstone torch on top of there block on that top of that and then another redstone torch right there Ooh. then you're gonna come over here and place some uh, some uh, redstone dust and that should be on, and we want it off. So we place that redstone block right there, and now it's off. Excellent. All right, now we're gonna come up to this clock over here, and underneath this block right here, or if we if we come out of this uh, T flip flop, that's what this is what the T flip flop is underneath this. Uh, comparator and then over to this block for this repeater and then on top of here so right here we want to come down 
Oh gosh, I'm not that far, not that far. And we want a little cubby hole like that. And then we want to come over to place a sticky piston with the block on top of it. And then two again. And we want to place redstone dust there. A repeater. Another repeater. Another repeater. And then we're going to place that into a block. And then we're going to come down with that piece of redstone dust right there. And now from here, we're going to make a little staircase coming down just like that. And you want to put a repeater on three. And then from here, we want to come down. And keep going down. And we're going to hook this right up so far with some redstone dust. And then you want to take this down one more. And you're just going to make this a straight shot all the way over to that. That should line up just fine. And before you, uh, you can put your redstone dust down all the way down I was gonna say these are gonna hook up you don't wanna put it on top of the hopper we wanna hook this redstone dust all the way up and then we wanna put a uh, repeater on two and then we wanna put blocks on top of these so they don't connect cause that's, that's, no, that's no bueno okay guys we're getting real close to the end alright now right here this is the, uh, we're getting close, we're getting close, hang with me. So, from right here, you're going to place a button. Okay, after you place your button, you will come back over here, and on the opposite side of this torch block that we placed down, we're going to place a pattern in like that, with a uh, sticky piston like that so you want about two by two and then you want another block right there block on top of the sticky piston a repeater set to two another repeater and redstone dust just like so now you want to take your slabs and place a block right there the slab so that you can place dust on top of it if you can't place dust on top of it you've got it uh, one too high or one too low and then you want to place a another slab just like that and then you want to place a slab well let's see just like that so two and then catty corner three and then we want to do that alright and we need to go over one and there should be a block right there we're going to take that block out though for a second a brief second and place in our sticky piston or a regular piston when you place that block there you can hook this line up and that'll circle around Power this block and break that uh, the shulker box that's going to be there. Now you can place a block there, a block on top. Just shift right click on top of the repeater. We'll throw a block on top of it. And then we want a comparator right there. And it needs to be right on the side of that uh, hopper. So now let's let's test this thing. Make sure it works. So let's get some uh, some shulker boxes. The first one should pop in, and there shouldn't be any in this dispenser. Should be all filled up right here. <clears throat> and then you can press the button, cycles through them. Cycles through them. 
Yeah, that's working good. All right. Now you want to come underneath here and place a block on both sides of your uh, crafting bench. Uh oh. There we go. That way, um, it doesn't have any any exposed area to have the item drop down through. Um, yes, we just don't want it to fall out, and that ensures it doesn't. And then you should have all the items that you drop through. They should popped up over here from the shulker box test that we just did. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and place in all these blocks. They're just going to be even with the top top row of chest. And we're going to come over here. Place these in. And we're going to do a roof just like this. Nothing fancy. You can do what you want. But this is what I want to do. And then this block right here, the middle one, we're going to punch that one out. And we're going to punch this one out. Okay. And then we're going to place a comparator up here coming out of that, that top chest. It'd be the one right above this torch. There we go. And then we're going to place a lantern right there. A block on top of that. And then we're going to place a lantern right here. And we're going to come out of that lantern all the way around. Let's see, that's, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks away from the lantern. And then you're going to go over the very top of this uh, comparator block. You're going to place a torch on top of it. A uh, block on top of that torch and then you're gonna have a little uh, little caddy corner pop up like that and then the light should come on once you uh, power it all up okay guys now for the timer being set you want to place a block right there on this left top piece left top piece okay and then on this uh if you're facing it like this this left one the furthest one away from the uh whole system the outer one drop uh yeah dropper uh we're going to place now it's about 12 items or yeah per uh chest and we have six chests but if you're going to do a full, complete, full system, it's, um, it's about a stack and 12 items. That's, that's a perfect time for it to finish um, and get everything out of there and be done. Uh, yes. But it's about, like, if you only have one chest full of shulker boxes right now, uh, I would just put 12 items in there. And then um, for every chest you have, I'd add 12 items until you hit 64 and 12. And I wouldn't add no more because that's, that's perfect for this system. Now, before we do our test, let's go ahead and put one more little thing in here. Let's put a uh, lever right there. Uh, that's in the middle right there. And then from the back side, you're going to have to place in a block up here to block the redstone dust. And then we're going to have to put a block right there. And we're just making a staircase to come down. Oh, like that. Mm-hmm. And then we can hook all this up with redstone. And uh, this will lock this hopper up here for us so in case we don't want something to go in there so in here this is um this is something that you're gonna need to do you're gonna need to get a uh, anvil 
And we need to place an anvil down. And then we need to get some 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 block that you have a lot of. Uh, probably cobblestone because you'll end up throwing it away. You need to name it something. I'm just going to name it one. And then you can take this item and just spread it in every single slot that doesn't have an item. If it has an item, don't worry about it. But if you don't have any items in here, you need to um, uh, put some sort of unique item like this in there so nothing will stack with it. And just so long you don't have this item in your system, uh, you'll be all right. Let's see. Let's put that in here. And we're just going to deal with the, with the uh, bottom chest. And we're only going to have one item in there. So we're going to deal with this top one right here. Top item slot. There we go. And we're going to look for iron. We need two of our search blocks in here. So always need two of them in here. If it's an item in the system that we're going to throw into the search engine, we need two of them. Okay, now that we got this lever in, we need to do one, absolutely one more thing, and this thing will be good to go. So, we need to come down to this block. You need to do your, make your way down here to this hopper right here with, where we uh, put the comparator facing in, okay? Right here where this piston is. And we need to put... Uh, 21 items of a unique item in here. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That, that's, that's, that's a good word. So when you put them in here, you want three and 18 or 18 can be anywhere, but you just need this first slot needs to be open and then it needs a non, um, an item that's not going to be in your system. That's named a unique item. That's very important. Okay, guys, now, this is very important, all right? After we put this in there, we, put, we just put the, uh, the uh, blocks in the, in the hoppers, okay? The, the items, the unique items in there. And then over here, remember when I said it could be on uh, uh, two or three? Try, if it doesn't work, you want to either put this on three and that's three, or you want to do this on three, and that's four. Normally, it's just going to be this timing down here. This three up here is pretty much where it needs to be, I think. This down here, I've, I've built this five times now, um, or five different locations, and um, this has always been three or four. So keep that in mind. If it doesn't work, if you're getting blocks... So if you're getting blocks in your dispenser, it's because the timing down here needs to be changed either from three to four or four to three. All right. <clears throat> now, let's uh, let's do a little test. And make sure this bad boy's working. I've got six shulker boxes full of of uh, iron blocks, and I've got one iron block in here or two, and that's should start the machine. That should go off. Okay, and then we should hear the machine going. Yep, machine's chunking away. And we should get our block here in a second. Okay, we've got our whole box full. So it took the item out and stuck it back in there. That worked good. Now we should have six of these. That's one. Uh, that's two. Three. There's four. Um, that's five. That's six. Oops. Turn that on. Okay. So we should have six boxes back into our s system. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we should have our search item back in here. And yep, that should be it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll 
try to explain anything that you have issues with as best as possible. Um, and if you need me to check it, check your world out or jump in it real quick and uh, see if I can do some troubleshooting for you too, I'm totally fine with that as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, if if you if you play on a server or you do YouTube videos and you want me to come on there and help you build it, I'll be uh, happy to do that as well. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a really long video. Please do hit the like button because this took me a pretty good while to figure out and build and all that other junk, you know. So please uh, hit the like button for me. Yes, thank you. Okay, anyway, um, hopefully this works for you, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Now, for the most important part, remember, Jesus loves you, I love you, and we'll see you next time in the next tutorial. See ya!